Hello, PC Smoker back again, and it's 2013, and we've gone over the fiscal cliff. Ouch. But hopefully it won't last long because, well, at the time this is at the time of doing this, um, the Senate passed the um, tax reform and all that stuff that um, they were going to they postponed last year. So, Senate passed the bill trying to tax anybody over makes over half a million dollars instead of a quarter of a million. And so, I have to wait to see what uh, the Republicans have to do in the House. So, the, so right now it's you know it's a wait and see on um, what's going to happen later on today. If uh, the Republicans are going to pass the bill, and or they're going to let things be as they are, which means we're screwed. However. They did pass a bill to make sure that milk doesn't go up to six to eight dollars here in the um, 48 states for Alaska and Hawaii. They probably be, I don't know what, 16, 20 dollars a gallon of milk since theirs right now is eight to nine gallons, eight to nine dollars a gallon. So they don't have to work, so we don't have to worry about higher prices on milk and other dairy products, so that's a good thing. <clears throat> I'll skip it. Finishing up what's left of my diesel, unlimited, D.6. And you can tell from my right shoulder, the Christmas decorations are done. They're gone, packed away until Thanksgiving. And unfortunately, unlike last year, I'm sobering up because I did the one bad thing. <laughs> and you're not supposed to do it if you want to get a good hangover, and that is you have something to eat. So had something to eat, so that kind of will um promise me I won't have a hangover when I get up later on in the day. Of course, I came up with other remedies for hangovers, so in case you want to write this down for future references. Uh, asparagus, eating asparagus will get rid of most of the blues, that's in your system. Also, bananas, for those of you who don't like asparagus, ban bananas will do. And of course, good old water, since alcohol dehydrate your brain so you drink more water to get it replenished. So those are your hangover tips right there. And of course eating something before you get start drinking that help too. Anyway just kind of thinking back to the last video I did that first video I did for 2012 and somehow uh, the last six minutes were completely went completely went dead. I don't know why, but you know it went dead. I was kind of thinking, you know, if something go back to there and kind of um, do a voiceover, of what I was trying to say, well, like those Japanese mo Japanese movies like Godzilla, Rodan, and all that, which all the Japanese actors. <laughs> In the movie, they all speak Japanese, and then of course when I brought it over to the states, uh, some people had to dub what they were saying in English. So it'd be kind of nice, you know, if you come back to my first video of 2012 and dub it in your own words, that'd be interesting to find out what, what you will say about that. Anyway, what am I planning on doing for? 2013. Uh, I think 
Let's see. Uh, who do I have? Right now, what I'm trying to do is to um, prepare myself to take a little written test to get a CDL license, uh, CDL permit, because there's a place out near here that's hiring um, people to learn how to drive a semi, and it's kind of a good deal. Like, ooh, I just noticed I'm not the first one to have a video out for New Year's Day. Two other people beat me to it, rats. Anyway, now I'll be kind of like on V Rich 3733, in which He's a truck driver, so like I said, you know, I'm trying to prepare myself to take the written test so I can get a permit to drive a CDL permit so I can learn how to drive to get a license to get to drive a semi. And it's kind of good because uh, throughout the whole course, which is about a month, month long, I get paid five hundred dollars a week. And then hopefully I'll send you on the road. And, um, ah, she's dead. Oh, well. Anyway, get to go on the road for two or three days and then come back home. We just thought better and sound like some of these other well known tr tr trucking firms like JB Hunt and uh, Schneider, which you out for weeks before coming back. So, I mean, it's kind of good because you know, I've only gone for a couple days, come back, and um, do what I got to do for about one day, and then back to work and go. So, hopefully, that'll work out because right now my savings account has, well, at the start of 2012, my savings account was in the five digit range. Now it's down to three. Basically, because uh, I spent over eleven thousand dollars on my truck, and I have to take out more money because I gotta get my truck, my door fixed because I can't get out. <laughs> so hopefully, I get it fixed, and that cost about four hundred dollars right there. So that's why I need either big full-time job or get a second job somewhere so that way if uh, the truck breaks down again you know I won't have to um, worry about taking more money in my savings account and also prevent myself from taking um, out a, another credit card which I'm getting you know, most of the times getting bombarded with credit card companies. Um, say, you know, apply to here. You're pre-approved for a credit card and all that. <laughs> I don't want to do that because that means more money. I expect got to make more money to pay off those bills and all that. So hopefully, it won't it won't happen. And just got to hope that come the end of next month, which is February, hopefully, I'll get my tax refund, which will be about, ooh, I don't know, over $2,000, hopefully. And now I'll time it over for a few more months. So, that's about it. So hopefully, what I'm hoping, what I'm hoping for 2013 is I get a job in which, or jobs in which, say like, I'll be making more than I'm showing out paying bills and all that. And then hopefully, maybe my savings account can rise a little bit more. 
Oh, we'll see. So, anyway, hope you guys haven't indulged yourself too much on the booze and all that. And, um, uh, And hopefully, um, you and I will probably have more subscribers to it coming to us. So we'll see. So until next time, keep those home brass burning cigars smoking. Take down your Christmas trees, and uh, see you next time.